Good day everyone. So now I will be going to make a liquid pH indicator or an acid base indicator using only the extracts of the camote tops or the camote leaves. In this video, we will be testing 10 products that can be seen in our home. So before we proceed to our experiment, we firstly need to gather our materials. So first, we need the camote tops. And we have here coke, alcohol, vinegar, water, aloe vera gel, soap, baking soda, shampoo, milk, and toothpaste. In our procedure, we need to prepare the kamote leaves, a bowl of water, and iron cooking pot. So first step. We need to cut the leaves using our hands into smaller pieces and put it inside the pot. Then, we need to pour the bowl of water into the pot. Next step, boil the leaves of the purple sweet potato. While boiling the commodity tops, let us prepare the products to be tested and put them into the cups. After boiling the kamote tops, we need to turn off the heat. 
and then pour the extracts of the kamota leaves into a container. Use a strainer and press the leaves using a fork to filter the soup. And this is our final liquid acid base indicator solution. Now, it is time to test our products. As you can see, the coke has a color of a darkish brown. But when I combined the extract, the color became darkish red, like a blood. Therefore, it can be considered as an acid. For the second product, I poured the extract into the alcohol. The color of the alcohol became dark lavender. Therefore, the alcohol is considered a base. For the third product, I put some of the extract into the vinegar. The color of the vinegar became dark red, which makes the vinegar an acid. Fourthly, I mix the extract into the water. The color of the water was the same as the color of the extract. Next product is the aloe vera gel. When I put the extract into the solution, I firstly did not see any changes. But eventually, the color of the solution became dark lavender, just like in the alcohol. Therefore, it is a base. Next is the soap. When I put the extract into the soap, the color became violet, making it as a base. Next is the baking soda. When I put the extract into the baking soda, it became dark green. Therefore, it is a base. Next product is a shampoo. The color of the shampoo became a greenish purple. Therefore, it can be considered as a base. Next product is the milk. When I put the extract into the solution, it became just like a milk with a sweet potato flavor. It actually smells tasty, but eventually, the color slightly turned into whitish red. Therefore, it can be considered as an acid. Lastly, the toothpaste. The same with the soap solution, the toothpaste became violet, making it a base. And now, let us arrange them by their colors from acid to base. For the last part of the video, we will try to mix an acid in a base solution and check if the color of the solution will become just the same as the original color of the extract. Let's try to combine vinegar, which is an acid, and baking soda, which is a base. The outcome was exactly what I expected it to be. It created so many bubbles and the color became just like the color of the purple sweet potato extract. Based on the results, the Kamata leaves extract turned the acidic and basic solutions to a color ranging from red to green. In a conclusion, 
the extracts of the purple sweet potato leaves can be a natural alternative acid-base indicator.